Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in the former paradise of South Austin, Texas here on the first day of winter, the winter solstice. So it is about 80 degrees today here on the first day of winter in South Austin, Texas. So this is your old uh, clueless moron Luddite eco-Nazis latest little moral fix he has gotten into. How do, how do I get myself into these messes? There's worse messes to be into. I, I'm throwing this one out to a vote. What would you do? Okay, so this is your old eco Nazi shopping on Amazon. I do shop on Amazon.com. I don't shop at Walmart because I'm an eco Nazi. But I have no problem shopping on Amazon.com and I've been shopping on Amazon, good God, for probably ever since they first opened. I've probably gotten 300 items off of Amazon. So today I received my latest item, my, uh, <laughs> my Made in China Big Red 4-Ton Hydraulic Welded Bottle Jack and uh, to, you know, to lift up my gas-sucking Toyota truck. And so, uh, the problem I was having with this is that it's supposed to, you know, it's seven and a half inches, the bottle itself, but it's supposed to raise up to 15 inches when it's fully extended. And the problem with the jack was that it did not raise up to 15 inches. It, it came up about, and, I, and I'm sure you ladies are, are uh, familiar with this problem, it came up a couple of inches shy of what I needed to get the job done. So, uh, your, old, uh, your, your old Luddite was a little bit shy in the 15 inch shaft department so i spent oh well over an hour uh with customer service uh going over and over this with this absolute clueless bimbo uh moron at, at the torrin big red jack customer service line absolutely worthless and you know, she agreed with me. I, I kept telling her that the that the shaft, the 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 piston, worked fine. It it rose up just fine. Uh, that my piston was was working fine. But unfortunately, I needed seven and a half inches out of my piston, and I wasn't getting it. And I said, I, you know, there, there's got to be a second piston. And that the first piston works fine, but I need to get a few more inches out of my second piston. So we went around and around and around with this. And uh, <clears throat> at some point in the conversation, I do remember her saying, well, sir you need to unscrew the other piston yourself. And I had no idea what she was talking about. And uh, so anyway, I got very uh, short-tempered with her, uh, insinuating that she was a clueless bimbo. I did ask to speak to a man, uh, since this woman was not getting me to, uh, not getting the inches I needed out of my shaft, uh, that did not go over well if I, when I asked to speak to a man. But anyway, she finally gave up. Uh, and, uh, so I, I, I've been out to my truck two times and I jacked the goddamn thing up as far as it would go. As far as this motherfucker would go. I, I've been using jacks. I'm 58 years old. I've been jacking up cars for 40, for 42 years at least. I've been, and it was coming up. I needed about two more inches of lift to get my tire off the ground. And uh, it wasn't happening. So I come back all pissed off 
ready to uh, r ready to write some smart ass uh, letter to the seller about their piece of shit hydraulic 15 inch jack which was about three inches too shy and so of course their automatic default mechanism is just to replace it with an identical jack and I said, fuck that, just give me my goddamn money back. So you, I figured out how to ask for a refund, and I figured I'd have to fill out all of this shit, send the jack back, and uh, so anyway, I asked for a, a, a refund, and pushed, send me my goddamn money back for your piece of shit jack, and look what they told me, we are processing your refund you don't need to return the item back to us so I can keep the jack and get my money back. So I have now paid nothing for this jack, but I still needed another jack. But the thing about this jack, it was okay for, you know, just a, a, a car that had, you know, a regular passenger car. I was thinking, well, I'll just give this as a Christmas present since it was free. And... Then I look very closely, so I've already got my $17.50 back. It's already been uh, refunded. There is no need to return your item. Your refund has already been issued, $17.50. So uh, I've got my money and I've got this thing, and I decide... I'm going out to that damn truck one more time, and I look very carefully on at the picture where it's describing this 15 inch, you know, it says seven and a half inch original height, then under that 15 inch, and if you look really closely, it shows the second piston that you have to unscrew yourself to get the last three inches of rise. Uh, so this is Hambone uh, unscrewing his shaft here and voila there is the three inches I was missing. So I, I unscrewed the center piston which I am sure if I had read the owner's manual, I am a man, I don't read owner, owner's manual. I, I'm 100% sure that the owner's manual explained to get, if you need that last three inches of rise, to manually unscrew the piston. I never got that far in the owner's manual. So now the jack works fine. There's nothing wrong with the fucking jack. Are you following me? I have a perfectly good jack. It lifts up my truck and changes my so I change my tire, everything. It took about five minutes. Uh, so now I have a free gift from Amazon. They have just given me a perfectly good uh, $17.50 jack which, as I say, without even looking at the uh, owner's manual, since I never bothered to do that, this would have been explained. So now what do I do, guys? Do I just keep the jack and the $17.50, like 99.9% .9 of people on the planet, or do I figure out how to go back and find the seller and explain this to them that I was the dumbass, that I was the one at fault, and I want to pay them the very fair price of $17.50. The same jack at AutoZone is $26. So, uh, you, know, you know, Torin Big Red Jacks has come through. They, they're made in China. Jack is fine. I was the clueless fucking moron, but they gave me my money back. So I'm holding it out to the uh, tribe. What would you do if you were me? Would you keep the fucking jack or would you 
go to the trouble of trying to get the 1750 to the seller or would you take the $17.50 and send it to Paul Beckwith's uh, Patreon uh, or GoFundMe or whatever Paul is doing? Uh, what would you do? You know, with that, while I'm waiting for you guys to answer, what would you do? Uh, I'm going to go out and on this hot, steamy first day of winter, uh, pour me a nice, cold, slushy margarita to uh, recover from this stressful, hot afternoon and get ready for the first night of winter in Austin, Texas. This is your clueless fucking moron Luddite Amazon shopping eco-Nazi saying bye guys